So, welcome to part two of our adventure. I've been out today and brought some shiny new DVDs. Right, so hopefully I can burn the disc to one of these, pop the removal drive back in, and hopefully we'll get Linux installing. Back in ammo. Okay, so I've burnt the Lubuntu Ultimate image to a DVD, because obviously we didn't have much luck with a live one yesterday. So, as before, let us hold the control key and hope we can get this thing booted into Linux. I have 24 remaining attempts of 24 DVDs, so with a little bit of luck we won't have to use quite that many. I don't have noticed using this either because the screen backlight seems to be on its way out. It's very light at the edges and very dim at the top. Zoom in a little bit there. Hopefully we'll have our solves tuck showing up in a few moments. Okay. Not getting my hopes up just yet. We had how did I get this far yesterday? Let's wait until it gives me a mouse cursor. Come on, iBook. You can do it. Still thinking. Still thinking. Ah, there we go. Okay, I'm not quite sure how this is going to look. Obviously, we're going for a text based installer rather than the live CD. Just hoping it doesn't get stuck anywhere. Now, I have noticed my camera hates it as soon as the screen goes black, so I might start to put my hand here until something interesting happens. Okay, default option is install. That's what I was after yesterday. Seems you only get that in the ultimate CD. Pro tip. <laughs> okay, hopefully the quality is enough that you can zoom in if you want to read that. It just says loading kernel. I have a feeling we're in for a long wait as we were yesterday. Probably isn't going to help this thing still using the original hard drive it came with uh, back from about 2003, so it's definitely due some upgrades this thing. Okay, RAM disk. A little bit further. <laughs> still thinking about it. Still thinking about it. I2C Power Mac. Oh, no. Not giving me time to read. Okay, here we go. This looks a little bit better than yesterday. Just, uh,. Just that screen so you guys might be able to see this a bit better. Okay, yep, yeah, we're in focus, good. So, we are English. We are United Kingdom. Uh, you can try and have your keyboard layer detected. Sure, let's have some fun. So, press one of these keys. Why? Do we? Is there a key labeled that thing? No. 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 Yes. Uh, GB. Excellent. Okay, it's getting a little bit further than yesterday. I think the live CD might, CD might have just been a little bit too much for this old thing. 
It reminds me of Vista and the red screen of death. <laughs> hmm. Doesn't seem like anything's happening. Come on, you can't get. Let's get this far again. Okay, good, good. I imagine this would be a lot quicker if I could use the built in drive, but. Modern Linux doesn't seem to like fitting on a CD anymore these days, even this alternate disc. Okay, back to the red screen. Thrilling viewing this. Only just loading the install. I was saying that I do like watching all the different modules and stuff it loads. More than you'd think goes into basic Linux install. Okay, and this is just loading at this point, so what I'll do is I'll pause the video and we'll jump back in as soon as we actually get to the installer. Or, if something goes wrong. Two minutes. Okay, we appear to be getting somewhere. It asked me to set up the network, um, but I don't really think that's necessarily required at the moment. And now, we just need to set up the new users, so... We shall call the user Jake. The username shall be Jake and the password which I will just type in quickly hey and we're back so you may configure your home directory for encryption uh, no can't imagine that's going to be very fast on this kind of hardware uh, we shall Right, it seems to be forcing us to set up the network. Right, I'll get this connected to my Wi-Fi because the password is downstairs and I can never remember it. Okay, so I did try and connect that to the Wi-Fi network. Unfortunately, the security my Wi-Fi uses is much too new for this old airport card to handle, so... Wi-Fi is probably going to be a little bit of a problem, at least at this point in the installer. So what we can do is just skip past that. Hopefully. <laughs> Configure the clock. Right. It really doesn't want us to not have internet. Maybe if I just tell it to use Ethernet and don't plug anything in. <laughs> Have a quick drink while that does that. Do not configure the network at this time. Excellent, that's what we want. <clears throat> Host name. Jake's iBook. Okay, more loading. Okay, he's trying to find our hard drive. This is not a very fast process. <laughs> Although saying that, I didn't really expect it to work at all, so 
the fact we've got this far is mighty impressive. Of course, I shouldn't say that I've not actually got to the desktop again this time yet. Okay, use entire disk. Uh, SCSI 1, 30 gigabytes. Yeah, we'll just completely wipe the Mac OS 10 that's on here. I can always restore that again later. Okay, so. Bit of EXT4, bit of swap. Right to disk. Hard drive does sound rather rough, I will admit. Okay, and installing the base system. So this is probably going to take a little bit more time. I'll start the video again when it's got at least a bit further. This is taking an absolute eternity. <laughs> I have been waiting here for a very, very long time and it is still getting there, so I have a feeling this is a video that's going to take me all night. Okay, this has taken an absolute age, but we have finally got there. The installer says we are all good to go, it has ejected the CD from the drive. The fan in the iBook is going absolutely crazy. Um, well, it doesn't need to be... oh, okay, yeah, that is quite warm, actually. Let's see if we can boot into Ubuntu. Okay, that's something. <laughs> okay, all fingers crossed here. Will it boot first time? Not going to touch a thing. The hard drive's really going for it. Okay, we got this far on the live CD. Will it boot from the hard drive? Okay, nothing yet. Come on, little iBook, you can do it. No. I hope that's just X loading. <laughs> Okay, mouse cursor, good sign, good sign. Uh, hey, and a login screen. Wonderful. Right, I'll quickly pop in my password. I can type today. Yeah, it wasn't a particularly fast boot by today's standards, but not bad for this iBook, I suppose. Will we get to the desktop? Still crunching away.
and there we go. Mouse ghost is working. We'll start my new things working. Okay. This is a little bit quicker than it loaded from the disk yesterday. And there you go. As you can see, we have Lubuntu running. Right, well, <laughs> it took two parts of a video. It took me going and buying some DVDs, but it looks like we may finally be there. I'll have a play around with this, get a few things set up, see if we can get that wireless working, and I'll make another video of just screwing around in Lubuntu on this old iBook and see what we can make it do. So uh, thank you for joining me in this journey of modern software on a ancient machine. Hopefully we can do something fun with this. Until next time.